Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark Spencer with me is Steve Martin. We're talking Final Cut Pro 10 and the really exciting subject of Media management. Oh, media management. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Actually, it's really important, right? Because it, it can so mess you up. You can. You know, you get those dreaded red offline clips. Yes. The, the yellow warning triangle. Yes. You're just like, oh like, my wait gosh. Wait a minute. Where I, did everything go? Exactly. You get the, the offline media. So especially if you're, if you're moving projects around, you're moving events around, you're going to another machine, you're going on vacation, or you're going to a shoot, and you want to make sure everything is there. Right. But we're going to do any of that. Oh, what are we, we going to do? <laughs> well, <Scratch all> that. <laughs> no, something that actually occurs all the time. Um, okay. Let's say you're working on a project. You're, you're, you're working in a hurry. Someone hands you a thumb drive with like images on. I need you to, to bring these uh, photos in sure. to integrate. That happens all the time, right? Yep. So the question is, how do you know those images that you're importing off a thumb drive or some drive that someone hands you is actually going to end up in your event library? Because as soon as you pop out that thumb drive or trash, you know, your media is going to go offline. So, in other words, how do you make sure you're actually making copying the media instead of making aliases? Yes, yeah, yes. Let's let's cover that because this is okay. a fairly fairly common scenario, and I think it would uh, yeah, it, it happened to me today. <laughs> <laughs> it would serve people well to see how this works. Okay. okay, but before we do that, let's let's do a quick jaunt into preferences, and I want to um, just point out a couple things. This is this is key. The preferences is. Uh, organizing how you're bringing in your media. If okay. you have this checked and you drag something in or import it using the import command, it's going to actually copy the files into your event library. In other right. words, Final Cut Pro is managing the media for you. Mm -hmm. I call it, like, if you're from Aperture, it'd be, be called like an event managed uh, media, okay? okay. Um, and if you didn't have that checked. Then what happens is the media gets imported to your event library to be sure, yes. but it's now pointing, referencing to that external Pointer media. or a sim link or It's an called alias. an alias, sim link, okay. whatever you want to call okay. it, sim for simulated. But I actually call them posers. <laughs> it's making poser poser media. So, but it's not really there. Your media is wherever you ha actually had it before you imported exactly. it. Exactly. So, and so it's in, pointing to it. So, okay. in this case, let's say you weren't minding, you weren't crossing your T's and dotting your I's, yeah. and you weren't you weren't aware of what you actually you know had here. So that's not checked. So it's so not checked. Unchecked. But okay. but I am going to leave import folders. As, typically, what's nice about that command is that when you bring in an entire folder, it, it, it tag, I love that. it keyword tags everything yeah. in that folder. So if you happen to organize your work in the Finder. Then half your work is done. Half your work when you yeah. bring it in, everything's yeah. tagged. But let's just assume you didn't. Okay, didn't you know, check you, that. you're in a hurry, as you know, you're working on a busy production set, and okay. someone hands you a. In this case, they hand you a, a flash drive. Okay. And inside that flash drive are a bunch of images. Okay. And okay. those you have to put these in here. They're they're a picture of Elvis getting out of the spaceship. You have to put it <laughs> in extremely your important. extremely <laughs> extremely important. So you have to get this into your program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab the whole folder. Uh -huh. You can just drag it onto right out, right onto the event. Onto right, an event. Yeah, okay. Right. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag it and uh, drop it. By the way, if you hold Command Option, you can actually do a, a simple. Well, never mind what I was going to say. <laughs> just let's just let's just just, just <laughs> drag it onto the event for now. Okay. And uh, as soon as I do that, yep. uh, what will happen is inside the event we'll get a folder. Uh, of that, that's GoPro Photos. Is yeah, that, GoPro Photos. Okay, because yeah, it created that keyword collection since you did have that selected in preferences. Right. Now the key okay. is I didn't copy the media. How do I know that? If I yeah, select the clip that? and right click and cho choose Reveal in Finder, okay. this is the key. You'll notice that these are sim ah, links. the little arrow, the little on arrow. The icon. Yeah, so what the are, curved arrow. What are they pointing to? The media on the thumb drive. That's right. And what am I going to do when I hand that thumb drive back to the client? You'll have no media. I have no media, and everything goes They're, online. Oh, and then you'll get the little red thing with the yes. the red thing with the yellow thing. Yes, <laughs> exactly. That's what it's called, right? The, the red, red thing. The, with the, the little, little, yellow, it's a little warning yeah. triangle. You're and, being and yelled at. And your heart, and your and your client has taken your thumb drive, and they've gone to the airport, and then you're, oops, yeah, oops, <laughs> up the creek. Yeah. So let's let's talk about. One thing you could do to prevent that from happening. Okay. okay. Besides, let's say, like, besides, besides purpose. that, you don't know. You, so the great thing is, I may have imported tons of that type of stuff over the past week or so month. You could have a mix of stuff that's oh my gosh, there and that's, some some sim links and some's not. Yeah, you can have poser media and real media in your event <laughs> library. Right. And you can't tell the posers from the real. Not thing. without going out to the finder and looking. Okay. That's the key. But here's here's the killer All right. command. All right. Great. Once you select the event. Okay. Go up to the file menu mm -hmm. and down here and choose organize event files. 
Organize event That's files. That's the key. Okay. What it'll do is says the selected event refers to fiat files outside the event folder to copy all the external media into the event folder. Click continue. You cannot undo. I don't care. Okay. Click on. So what it's doing is it's, I call this episode gathering all your eggs into one basket. It's literally going out, looking at all the external okay. media where it exists, seeing sim links or poser media, and then bringing those physical files into, the, into event, the event folder. Into the event library. So in the finder, in that event folder, if there was a bunch of stuff that, that was real media and a bunch of stuff that was the aliases, mm -hmm. it's replacing all those aliases with the actual media. So when you're done, you shouldn't see any aliases in that folder. That's at exactly all. correct. So if I if I go back to GoPro Photos uh -huh. and I right click on this and choose ready, what would I, what should, what should one expect to see? No little hooked arrow. Exactly. There if you go. look here, there's that's actual media, not yes. poser media. Yes. So poser <laughs> media. So this is this is a great command. It'll yeah. save your hide. Yes. Right. Yeah. And it's something you could just do before you turn over any hard drive. Because I had this happen today, where we you know we came up here to the to the Pixel Core Studios in Petaluma, I had a bunch of stuff on a hard drive, moved it all into this machine, and it was all offline because when I copied the media, I didn't check first, and it was a bunch of aliases. It'll never work in this town again. Shame on me. <laughs> <laughs> so really useful, really useful command. A little, little nice thing. I, I wish we had done this episode um, before today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to understand. Great. It's okay. Awesome tip. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. And thank you. Oh, before we leave, RippleTraining.com. We have a whole tutorial coming out just on media management. Oh, on like media. two hours of this stuff. Really exciting stuff on media management. Really important stuff to know. The critical stuff. Okay, critical so RippleTraining.com for Final Cut Pro training, motion training, uh, DaVinci Resolve training, everything related to this stuff. So uh, check that out. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.